medroso. Dice medroso. Vamos a lo puta. Aleluya. Aplausos. He's always came of you. That's why he's trying to come and then just. You stay you. Because himself is gay. Now it is time to stand up against the devil and we set fire over him. Hallelujah. I'm telling you during these three days, we're going to set fire into your family in the name of Jesus. Something not going okay in your life. You must understand that there is something unauthorized that came in your life. Hallelujah. I want you to catch me very well. Whenever you see something not going in your body, in your work, in your life, just know that there must be something wrong. Don't take it for granted. The devil is a liar and is working day and night. And disturb the people of God. But this is the time for us to have the conscience, the consciousness that God has given us the power to destroy the work of the devil. Hallelujah. Amen. You don't understand. This is the time for you to start destroying people who are trying to destroy you. Yes. Uh, if Gabona told them, this is the time I'm allowing you to eat the one who wants to eat you. You don't understand this. Sorcerers are at the bottom of the levels. You are more powerful than them. For them to kill you, they need to make a lot of sacrifices. They need to beg Satan to allow them to eat you. Now it's going to pass the same night that the Lord said to him, Take your father's young bull, the second bull of seven years old, 
and tear down the altar of Baal that your father has, and cut down the wooden image that is beside it. And build an altar to the Lord your God on top of this rock in the proper arrangement, and take the second bull and offer a burnt sacrifice with the wood of the image which you shall cut down. Beloved, yes. there is no one here. Is that what to take out? There is no family. Is that a family or what there? Where there is no the altar of the devil. Is that a family or what Family is that Hello? Amen. Since the old time, but I'm up to today, Satan has been working and he continues to work. Hallelujah. Amen. And he is working, trying to destroy as much as he can. They will do all the sacrifices. So that 
you cannot be burned. A day you utilize that power of you have given birth. You use it for themselves. Why? For them to be powerful. They have to destroy somebody. This is according to Satan. And when you look at it, it's like it is like that. You see, a cat catching a head. You eat so that you may survive. A dog will go and catch a, 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 a what you call it? Uh, a chicken. And So the chicken must die for the dog to survive. And we have to kill planets for us to survive. So this is the basics of Satan. So for him, for him to be more powerful, he has to destroy more people. Hello? That's why they will create accidents, they will cause accidents. For more people to die, they can take back that blood. They are more powerful. Always. When Satanists are worshipping the devil, they always have to sacrifice a human being so that they may utilize, use that power of that human being and his blood for them to become more powerful. That's why it is easy for your auntie, for your uncle, for your, 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 your family, your family, or for some moments to kill you easily. Why? Because they want to use your power. So you can become more powerful. Because according to them, if they don't do that, somebody else will kill them. Hello? You see, I'm taking this picture to you from my understanding. Why sometimes you get so sick? You go to the doctor, the doctor comes to a tree. Because somebody is sacrificed for you to be like that. Hello? Are we together? Are you scared? You need to know these things. We have only one choice to fight back. To fight back. Otherwise, so they are going to kill us. Hello? Amen. How do we fight? Amen. This is what we are talking about. Amen. We are talking about tearing down the altar of the devil Amen. to have the victory. Hallelujah. Be not to understand. If you are not powerful, so you are not powerful. You will try. Nobody will, will come to, you, to your rescue. You need to stand up. That's why the Bible says Jesus Christ came to the world to destroy the work of the devil and to give you power over the devil. To give you victory over the devil. To give you victory over Satan. Jesus Christ and your Savior 